Here well, we are back. Well, yeah, I know. Back again. Second, second back show. Again. Hey, I hope this one works out better than the last one. <laughs> it was good. I, I we did a good job. We did, did a great you? job. Yeah. 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 Well, did you record it? Fix the lights. That's one thing. No. <laughs> yeah. What are we going to do? What, what are we going to do today? Well, first of all, we better get on here, Edwin. Huh? Ooh, yeah. We have about uh, ten seconds, Hobart, okay. to get the oh, wait, get her going wait. here. Good. You've been pulling my wires. No. What are we? What are wait, we? Gonna, go. What are we going to do this week? I got something on. We're going on. We're going on. You ready? Get ready. Okay, yeah, ready. Here we go. We are on. Hi, everybody. I'm Hi. Buck Buchanan. Don't make much money, but I get to say my name on the radio. And I get to say it along with you. Say it. I never said this before, Buck, but I really appreciate the fact that I get to borrow some of your local fame. Borrow some of your local fame. No, local fame. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am a big man in Oregon. <laughs> International fame here. Okay, Hobart Brown and Buck Buchanan. Buck Buchanan here. Unlike Rush Limp Limb, uh, who works with half his brain tied behind him. I use all I have because I need every bit. So I, I've got it all out front, Hobart. I think our listening audience knows that back. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do today? Okay, okay, last week we talked about drugs, and, and mm. then I thought, well, uh, maybe later on we have a guest that we can bring on. Christine who knows, Rising. Yeah, who knows something about that. So what we can do is uh, uh, bring her on, have the uh, talk about, I want to talk about the AIDS part of that problem. AIDS? Yeah, how, how that affects that. But anyway, we can do that later. But first of all, you said something about some weirdo in Japan or something. Oh, yeah. Crystal. Crystal, I you think. said weirdo. <laughs> well, I think it is. I'm not familiar. Are you familiar with the name Christo? Of course, the name? I, of course yeah. I am. I'm well, it, a world famous been... Hobart Brown artist. Of course I know who Christo is. Who is he? <laughs> He's a very important artist. He does environmental type sculptures, that sort of thing. He does happenings, so to speak, like he hung the curtains, you know, from Santa Rosa, and he covered an island with cloth. In fact, he's a great artist, but I, I'm not really too sure about the effect of his work. But I know what he does is, like even this radio show, you know, it gets a lot of people involved doing something, and it turns out to be fun. So he gets a lot of people doing a, a, a big project like that, which seems, uh, you know, uh, senseless, but actually in senseless situations, you find a lot of sense. So a lot of coming together and stuff. So he, I think he's a great artist. In fact, I compare it with a I think, I think of myself, I, he's one of my heroes because of the sculpture race, so I like, uh, I like to think that I'm in that league. <laughs> Would you go over that again? I think I missed it. I'm in that league. <laughs> <laughs> but Crystal, anyway, I, you've heard that he's opening all these umbrellas. By now, perhaps they're opened, but uh, umbrellas, they, and they got rained out in Japan. That's a fact. Well, uh, I heard that he opened the umbrellas when the rain s quit. Well, you're listening to the wrong source. You, you don't up. watch TV, do you? I sometimes, hope nobody does. I hope they watch, ra sometimes, hope they watch sometimes, radio. Sometimes they do. Sometimes, <laughs> watch, sometimes you watch, watch. radio. Uh, that, uh, that, no, I heard that it was. He opens them when the rain quit, not when the rain started. And it's going to look beautiful all over Japan. You'll see all these umbrellas. He opens the umbrella when the rain stops? The rain stops. Sounds like yeah. an artist. Uh, well, wait now. That's better camera. <laughs> you get a better shot of it. <laughs> no, here again now, see? Here's what really art's all about. This is art. This is art, Buck. You ready? Mm -hmm. Art is... Something that involves that involves you, whether it's a person who does a painting and you look at the painting, you get involved. It's uh, whether you get involved in the production of it, like if you're all working together for some common cause, or, or like our radio show here, a lot of people came together, like I said, came together, and we don't know what's going to happen. You know, I don't know what's going to happen on a radio show when we start. Do we, bud? Know. Do we, bud? <laughs> we really don't, because we always end up getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> you get fired. I got laid off. <laughs> I want to make that clear. Uh, you out there in Radio Land, I was the good guy. He got fired. On the last <clears throat> last show, we promised we were going to talk about uh, AIDS. I think. Yeah. yeah, and AIDS and drug to m drugs to me are related. Yeah. Uh, now I, quite frankly, get sick and tired, Hobart Brown, of all these folks that want attention. Like Governor, who's the governor of the state now? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I think it's Wilson, isn't it? I'm who painted who painted Blue Boy? <laughs> Can you weld mufflers? <laughs> The governor of the state refused to, find, uh, to sign a bill that would give homosexual rights. See, now I am not opposed to homosexuality. Neither you know I. that, don't you? Neither. <laughs> <Sweetheart>. <laughs> or whatever anybody's uh, sexual preference may be, but I'm opposed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm opposed. It doesn't hurt anybody. I'm opposed. If you're consenting adults. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm opposed to somebody destroying public property, and yeah. I think that. Uh, Automobiles and cigarettes and alcohol kill more people every year 
or in one year than all have been killed in AIDS-related uh, yeah. things, uh, yeah. you know, combined. But I'm not opposed to finding a cure to no, AIDS. We want to I hope we do. And we'll we do other let's find one for on. cancer first. Let's find one, one for uh, uh, rheumatoid arthritis yeah. or uh, yes. osteopathus. <laughs> You know what osteopathic is? I don't know what osteopathic is. I want to say something. I want to say something. Right. Now, Coop, I think that's the guy's name, isn't it, who's uh, the surgeon Edward general? Coop, Edward Coop. He makes me so mad because in the beginning, I felt like he gave pieces of information to and he caused riots and he, he got people scared to death of AIDS. And, and now, this is just me saying it. It's just me saying it. But uh, I have not yet been shown proof that heterosexuals get AIDS. Other, you know, through normal heterosexual acts. I mean, I'm missing all that sex because I've been afraid? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. But more than that, uh, what's been happening is in this, uh, where we have school kids, you know, who may have got, got it through birth or transfusions or yeah. whatever else, uh, they've been shunned and held out of school, and it's caused a whole horrible lot of problems, all because of this big upheaval of lack of information. And, and there are only certain ways that you can get AIDS, and those ways have to be spelled out. And I really hold that guy responsible for for coming off with all that stuff. I, uh, it, I, anyway, it makes me really mad because he's ruined a lot of lives with that, I feel. I feel. Hobart Brown feels, not the station, not, not K-O-F-F. Sorry. Hey, listen, listen now. This is, our, uh, this, this is our second show, Buck. I know. This is our second show now. Remember Probably what you our last one. Remember what you promised last show? What? Remember about the oh, my tape? Oh, yes. Okay. You remembered, huh? Yes, I remember. Unfortunately. Now, Last week, that, Sabrina was great. She was good. She's she was my good. kind of music. Okay, okay. And, and I can't say that I'm really a rock and roller, but uh, I feel like that this song is done by a local artist. Uh, who? Very, very, very famous local artist. Who? Uh, who works very hard. Who? And who? Who? My son. <laughs> Sound like a spotted owl, don't I? My who? son. My who? Son. Shoot my it son. quick. You promised me that I could play it. Now, it's four minutes I long. I was teasing. It's four minutes long. Uh, but uh, Four minutes of Justin, Justin and, and the Java, Java Boys. Boys. Yeah. I can hardly John wait. John McManus and Kevin. Anyway, so this is it. Now, uh, John now granted, 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 some people, uh, four minutes is a long time for a tape, but you promised. And Where's my glasses? You promised. And also, uh, yeah, stay with us, people, because, I mean, granted, this is a rock and roll type tape, but there is a good message. Listen to the words. Okay, uh, <laughs> how does this thing work last time we had it? Wait, 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 there you go, oh, there you go. Okay. okay, push it in, push it in. Worked better last time. Okay, <laughs> you got it? There <laughs> you go, we gotta get this fixed. All right. Gotta learn how to do the darn thing. It's in. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I don't hear can, it. Can you hear anything? I don't hear it. I hope you hear it and I hope I don't. I don't hear it. <laughs>
hearted man I've been bruised inside so many times I hit back when I can I see the latest thing I've done She's got my mother's hand Mother, take my hand Mother, take me home Mother, take my hand Won't you take me home from the pain, don't let me be here alone Mother, take me Again, if I give my heart away, tell me won't it break again? I see the latest thing I've done. Well, she's got my mother's hand. Mother, take my hand. Mother, take me home. Mother, take my hand. Mother, take me home. Take me home Well, where'd you... Back <laughs> Back Back <laughs> Did you like it? I got a hundred. I got a hundred and five bucks in that film. Did uh, you like it? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Thanks a lot. For, I for those of, for those of you still listening, <laughs> that was who? That was the Java Boys, led by my son, the singer, and John McManus and Kevin. I was he the one in his name. underwear and all the tattoos? No, that was John McManus. Can't people sing in good clothes nowadays, like <laughs> Sabrina did on the last show? There's a whole world out there, Buck, that you and I don't. Participate in. I think it's in widening our culture here that we include the youth, the youth up here in Humboldt County. <laughs> huh? Okay, Buck. Huh? Yeah, we. It's time for our PSA, Buck. <laughs> PSA. Okay. Hey. No, I was. I was anyway, I'm, thank you for letting I'm, me write. I, I'm being. Well, uh, it's our show, mostly yes. mine, but our show, right. and. Uh, uh, I mean, as, as you know, I, I'm just not into that kind of music, and I. To me, I. I, I must say that. I just don't like it, and I, I, I love the Frank Sinatras, the Edie Gourmets, the uh, big bands, uh, classical music, uh, something. I mean, See? is something like this it, going to be alive in a hundred years? I yes, hope not. Yes, That See, kind of here, music? Yeah, listen to bio music and stuff, but listen to this. I, this is what makes me greater than you, Buck. I like it all. <laughs> <laughs> PSA time. I think, all right, it's... Uh, <coughs> Wait, uh, here now we go. here's music. This is yeah. music. Okay. This is music. <laughs> okay, I want to tell everybody about the Redwood Coast Dixie Land Jazz Festival, March 27th, 28th, and 29th. Last year was a great, a whole lot of fun. And then coming also is the kickoff ball, which is March 21st. And I was chairman last year. I had a wonderful time, and anybody who went to that party had a great time. It's the best party we probably ever put together. And I can say that with quite a deal of authority because I am the party man of Humboldt County. <laughs> so you, what, what are you doing this year in it? Are you the party man again? I'm going to help again, but we have a whole list of chairmen this year. I think they, I think they kicked me down a notch. But uh, anyway, I'm there. I'll make sure that it runs right. That was a wonderful. They kicked party. you down a notch. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't lose <laughs> so hot last year. I did hey, last year. <clears throat> except for the rain, the festival itself is a, for a good cause. Well, it, it serves. Uh, it's serving. Any uh, any event has to go at least three years before you can really test to see whether it's going to hold water. 
which brings to mind the kinetic sculpture race. Yes, yes. Which now you were involved. Yeah, twenty-three years on that. Okay, you think and it's going to hold? Also, it's a brand new news release. Brand new yeah. news release. You ready for this? Yeah. We're going to drive a kinetic sculpture built by Russians. I'm going to be there around. What's the name of that square in Russia? Red Square. No, it's what's the real name? What? St. Peter's Square. They just changed the name. Yeah. I knew it. Well, what's the other name for it? The My Red, show. What's the Russian name? What's the Russian name? Huh? <laughs> Red Square. Yeah, right. Okay. The Red Square. Red no, Square. St. <laughs> Peter's Square. Okay, okay, okay. Is that Russian right. enough? I, can't, I cannot think of the name. <clears throat> anyway, we have a guest coming How up. can you drive around a square? I was teasing. I okay, we got to end our PSA now. Yeah. Put the time, time to end our okay. PSA. Okay. Drive around. That was nice. Be sure and see the Jazz Festival. If you haven't seen it last year, it's a lot of fun. Just be sure and attend. Have fun at the party, if nothing else. This is twice now we've publicized that, so I'm sure the place will be crowded. Okay, now we're ready. What were you talking about while I was gone? You Why were you talking about <laughs> while I was gone? Okay, I think we have a guest now. We're going to talk about and. You think we have a guest? No, we do have a guest. In fact, uh, it's going to take her a little while to get here because. She probably heard the Java boys and left. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Buck, that's my kid you're talking about. Christine? Nepotism. Christina, rise. Oh, She's coming. Oh. <laughs> uh, alone, come in, dear. <laughs> come in, dear. Christine Rising. Oh, what a so lovely what a surprise. Man. What a Sorry. lovely surprise. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. surprise. Sorry Christine. about the entrance. Uh, we're hey, still working on the theater. Down, my darling. We fixed the lights. First of all, last. come here. Come well, here. Come and sit here. Oh, Christine oh. Rising. Can't see this on radio, but I'm getting a he's, hug. He's <laughs> hugging her. It's all right, now okay, sit down, Christine. Start over. All right. <laughs> okay, so it's so nice of you to drop by. Yeah. And you he calls good. himself the lady's choice. Yeah. Can you I'm not going to ask that question oh, of a lady, on. though. Oh, 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 on KOFF <laughs> <laughs> radio. radio. I remember that. It seems to me we were all here once before, and the last time we were all fired. No, wait a minute. You were fired, you were laid off, but I wasn't anything. I think I'm still on. She's you and Joe Humble and, and Jerry Pertain. <laughs> yeah, they liked us. Yeah. Jerry, I wonder if he's out there <clears> listening. <throat> Maybe we can get something together. Yeah. Now, you guys were talking about drugs earlier. Can yeah, eight, keep oh, going on with yeah, that? Is she close yeah. enough to that microphone? Because, huh? It, yeah. Uh, yeah. Our, we, okay. yes. we were talking about drugs, and, you know, last last time we had the show, we talked about uh, how we were going to stop crime, you know, keep people from robbing and stealing and stuff like that. We hadn't covered it on the AIDS part a little bit, but how just the mm -hmm. sheer fact that if they could legalize drugs, they wouldn't be the dirty needles. Mm-hmm. Not legalized, but decriminalized. There wouldn't be the dirty needles and stuff like that. So a lot of deaths wouldn't happen literally by changing the law. You can change the law, lawmakers. You can change the law and save a whole lot of lives. Isn't that nice? Or we can go ahead and continue to spend money and bankrupt America. Do you know that they spent more money on the, uh, this drug war in the last couple of years than they spent on the whole Vietnam War? There's a friend of mine that's doing a specialized paper in the Air Force. And I was, you know, given that information, and I thought that was pretty shocking. And, uh, and we really haven't got in. That's just in Humboldt County. Let me say something. We've Christine. lost both wars. <laughs> yeah, we're losing. Yeah. Christine is a very important person. She's uh, worked oh, with yes. President Ford. She's been in all kinds of conventions. I showed you those papers about her standing next to Buckley, Peter Buckley, mm -hmm. and all these famous guys. William so, F. Buckley. Well, Peter, oh, Buckley. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Buckley. Peter <laughs> Buckley. You love that. <laughs> you, Peter Buckley. <laughs> That's his brother. Yeah. <laughs> He's thinking of Peter Principal, aren't you? Yes. That's probably what you're No, I was thinking of Peter Buckley. So. <laughs> I've been I'm getting on with spot, something intelligent. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, well, Christine. I yeah, there's something you. I just wanted to mention. That a lot of people leave out, uh, you know, Southern Humboldt, you know, like this isn't a, a bad subject. But there are some interesting things that are going on down there. And one of them I happen to come across through the Delta Society that I've been associated with. You remember we did a show on that, which is the human and animal bond people, remember? And we brought Purr on and she purred on and when the, and upstaged Hobart on his birthday. We remember I that. I hate animals. I know. He probably, well, that's okay, but she's so sports. cute. But anyway, there's a group called Casa del Corazon, which means House of the Hearts. And these people are a nonprofit organization and they're brand new. And they're trying to get together a um, open house for, is it be a residential treatment facility for at-risk teens, which are teens that have been in trouble uh, with drugs or with the law or both. And uh, they're really a, a great group, and they're. What do they do? They give the animals to the kids, or? Uh, well, one of the ladies there. Uh, well, one of the ladies is working with the human animal bond with them, with uh, with the therapy with the critters. Uh, but they're still new, and and they're they're having a fundraising going on right now through November 9th, I think, as they're drawing for a painting. I don't, you're familiar with artists, but a uh, Frank Tell Chorka. I guess he's he's a, a realist painting. You know, it almost yeah, looks like a photograph. Yeah. 
Sorry. Anyway, well, his paintings are going to be, it's going to be on uh, display um, through Humboldt County and up here the week of the 20th at the ambiance. But at any rate, they're really hoping that people will, you know, start taking a serious look at what's happening to some of our teenagers here. And, and interestingly enough, like my son went to South Fork High School. There was less drugs in South Fork High School and problems with it than there were in some of the other high schools here in Humboldt County. I don't want to get into names yeah. and mud throwing. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. You, know, you said something earlier that I thought was kind of neat. I mean, here again, I hate animals, so this is coming from the other side. He has a cat. Don't I hate animals. animals. I, I, hate I, think, I think what's really neat, though, is when you said that just by handing an animal to somebody who's in trouble, giving them something to care for, giving them something to love, giving them something that gives them feedback or gets warm and fuzzy to them or something. Yeah, does, there's a dentist that found that if he had, he has some little dog that he would put in his patient's lap. Now, this is, of course, for people that like animals. If you don't like animals, I don't recommend yeah. you try. Well, but <laughs> they would only have to use one third to one quarter of the Novocaine, you know, while he worked on the patient. This is a dentist. Uh, than those that he didn't use, you know, the animal, you know, in the lap in the therapy. And they found that it definitely brings down the heart rate and blood pressure. And now it's not a soft science; it's a serious science. And the, uh, they're wondering why? How does this happen? And I think it's just through love. There's this bond, and they're soft, and they're fuzzy, and they're non-judgmental. They don't care if you're old. They don't care if you're crippled. Did we get you know, off they my subject you. of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Did we? Well, well no, they're, no, use, they're using them in drug happy. therapy, though, too. And this is again with the, you know, like with the Delta Society, they're Boy, doing it. You know what, Christine? What? But you know what? What? If you ever see me drop dead or almost dead, and you think you should give me mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, I'll take care of you, bud. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you had your shots? Just, <laughs> just wave a snake over me and watch me get out of there, huh? I mean, I'm gone. I hate snakes. But uh, the Delta Society, br uh, briefly, if we can, not be briefly, yeah. but is, mm -hmm. is what again? It's a group that's Sounds working. Sounds like an undercover agency. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a group that's working with the Project human Delta, animal Delta bond Project Delta. Project Delta. <laughs> That's not a Delta hat. <laughs> anyway, this is in Southern Humboldt, right? Yeah. Uh, well, the Delta Society is located actually up in Washington, and they're having a big conference, which I'm on my way out of town to go attend their conferences and pick up more information because there are a few of the senior citizen homes in, in the Eureka area that are interested in, in this therapy. So anyway, I'm hoping that between that and then these groups that are you know working with these drug hab people, maybe we can get something going here, something new. Yeah, it's a, it's something a, it's, good, it's a something happy. Is, I, I probably missed it because I was sexually harassing you while you were talking. Did <laughs> uh, uh, say that? Yes. Uh, <laughs> but is there a chapter of the Delta Society in Humboldt County? No, there isn't, oh. and that's what I'm hoping to put together. Okay. How much well, time do we have left? Mm, four yeah. seconds or four minutes. <laughs> You can what? How much? Four minutes. See, you wanted to know. See, you're gonna be a bad time to get four hard. minutes. Well, uh, the director is not talking to me. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that whatever. That might be I'll, a sign. I'll give you any information you need to know. What do you mean, a sign of what? I don't know. I mean, Fired the last time. Again? You, yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Christine. That is, we introduced two projects, but that is a neat project. Mm -hmm. I think it sounds good. Delta Society. Yeah, even though I, you know, I hate yeah. animals. And, oh, well, how do you, you don't hate animals? How did you hook up in Southern? You said Southern California or Southern. Uh, this lady called me because she wanted to go to the conference, and oh. that's how it, it all came about. She wanted to know if she so could link up with me. So we're going to have headquarters in Southern Humboldt? We're hoping to, yes. Okay. I just want to be clear for our so, audience. Yeah. Well, whether it's in Southern Humboldt or, you know, if we do it up in Eureka, there's also a couple of nurses that are here in the Eureka area that are interested in trying to put it together. So I'm hoping to get the information, come back, and bring it down. Well. But I'm taking Purr. We all remember Purr. A lot of our <laughs> audience on... <laughs> Wait, you don't remember <laughs> it. Uh, briefly, uh, Purr was a little kitten you have that purrs on really cue, hard. purrs yeah. on cue, mm -hmm. and you got a job off that, didn't you? Hobart hadn't heard about it. I didn't yeah. hear about that yet. Yeah, yeah uh, it looks like maybe Hills, you know, may be interested in using her in some of the advertising on television. That's the loudest purr I have ever heard. Yeah, she's really something, isn't she? The and then when she eats something, she makes a damnedest noise. It sounds like yum, 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 you know, <laughs> when she eats something really good. So they, they want to try and... actually a bobcat, what do you call those things out in the woods? Uh, a raccoon. Yeah. She no. sounds like a coon. Three minutes, boys. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Thank you. He's counting. speaking to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Did we, we covered the. I really well. I like again. I, I got to go back to age just for a minute. Mm -hmm. Eight. Okay. And and drugs and saving people and make and treating. And in fact, last week we created this phrase. It treated as a sickness, not as a crime. We have got 
people who would be perfectly wonderful people serving time right now because they had a speck of marijuana on them or because they had some other drug and those could have been helped as people sick as opposed to criminals and now we've got our jam full prisons and everything else and they can't even keep the drugs out of the prisons and here we continue on spending billions of dollars wasting our money making our country go bankrupt and we could be spending it on helping people mm -hmm. Oh, I really got a tirade, don't I? Well, I think no, it's a good tirade, and I, you know, all sometimes I make light of it because, but the uh, battle of of drugs is an extremely important one around the United States today because we have lost. It's our biggest. We have lost that battle today, so we have to take a new attack on it, and our attack and Christine's uh, uh, thoughts on uh, our thoughts are decriminalize it. I, if I could, I would legalize it. But in the mm -hmm. decriminalization of it, it, it uh, this way we can put it into the hands of physicians yeah. who could use mm -hmm. it for people that are already hooked. Now we have all the children that are being born today that are already hooked on crack. Should they suffer because it, and have to go into back alleys to get their fix yeah, or whatever it is? Do it, so yeah. doctors should be able to administer these people, and while they're administering these drugs, they can counsel them, and f and we can, you know. Right. Hmm? That's good. See, you get on tirades too. <laughs> it's a good. It's the first time we've ever really agreed on something completely. It's got to be good. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh well, you always have next week. You can take yeah. it back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank minute. you very much. Do our credits. What, what a nag. Can we do our credits? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Christine, you don't have to leave. You can sit through the credits. It's oh, that's so nice. Well, you get the credits. You broke the mic. I didn't do it. I didn't even touch it. Thanks, the credits. <laughs> you don't have to. Hang on to that. What's <laughs> the credits? Nag, nag, nag. We only have. Hey, it's been awfully nice of everybody to come by, and these are the people that put the show together, and our guest today was Christine Rising. <laughs> Producer Buck and Hobie, <laughs> Director Kent Erdeman, Camera Mary Greenwood, Barbara Domonchuk, Set Designer Daniel Lawrence, and Associated Producer and Coffee Girl Christine Rising. An Associate Sexually Producer. Harassment. <laughs> How much time do we have? An Associate Producer. Hobart, turn out the I lights. Mean, <laughs> I think we're we'll turn out we're the off lights. the air. Oh, turn out the lights. <laughs> oh, oh no. Good night. Good night, ladies.